my top 10 fragrances that I have in my collection right now, regardless of season, occasion. Stick around if that's what you want to see. This channel is Stylish Irish Man, and I am a stylish Irish man. So the mother tells me. Welcome back to the channel guys, Matt here. Welcome to my new subscribers, welcome to my loyal subscribers. Thank you all for joining, watching the video, and please hit the like button. It really helps with engagement on the channel. You don't realize how much it helps. And leave a comment down below. Thanks so much for doing that guys, I really appreciate it. So this is a list of my top 10 fragrances at the moment, regardless of season and occasion. You're loving the list, so I might as well keep them going. There's the reviews on the way, so don't worry about people who like the individual reviews. They're still on the way. Let's get into the list. So if you follow this channel, you already know what my two favorite fragrances are. I'm gonna put them as honorable mentions on this list. There's no point in having them as two and one on the list. It doesn't make the list as exciting. So if you don't follow this channel, my two favorite fragrances are La Nuit de Lone by YSL and Endymion by Penhaligans. Absolutely love both of them, they both mean a lot to me. I've loads of bottles of this. I've went through the bottle of this already and I'm on my second bottle. This is a coffee lavender fragrance, absolutely stunning. Definitely recommend you sample it. And La Nuit de Lome is known by everybody. Absolutely gorgeous fragrance. Cardamom Lavender Dream, absolutely stunning. La Nuit de Lome and Penhaligans in Dimian. So essentially this list is my top 12 fragrances at the moment. My honorable mentions being my most favorite. So let's get into the 10. Number 10 on the list is Ultra Male by Jean Paul Gaultier. So pear, vanilla and cinnamon are the main notes in this. Love this one, love wearing it out, have a good dint gone in it already. Even though it's only really a night out scent, you might wear it casually one spray at the odd time just because you want to wear it if you're not going out all the time. Pear is the main note in this, it's the Le Mal DNA with some pear in there, sweetens it up, makes it lovely a uh, night out scent. It's very strong in your face, really nice. Women actually love this, women actually like to wear this too, it's that sweet. But I really enjoy Ultra Male. If you haven't got it, I definitely recommend you get your hands on it. So that's Ultra Male by Jean Paul Gaultier. Number nine on the list is another winter scent, and it's Pure Malt by Thierry Mugler. So the main notes in this are fruity notes, malt, and peat. This is a really nice take on the Amen DNA. It does smell like you're nearly wearing a drink for a certain length of time when you're wearing this one. You really kind of have sprayed an alcoholic drink on yourself. Really enjoy it. Very masculine, ultra masculine. This really suits a man from his mid 20s all the way to his 60s. I really like the Amen line. I also have Pure Havan. Didn't want to include the two of them on the list, but Pure Mod is my favorite of the two. Great performance and unique, which is something that a fragrance Tuesdays is looking for. Not everyone's gonna smell this. Definitely recommend you try out Pure Malt by Terry Mugler. Number eight on the list is CH Men Privé by Carolina Herrera. Really, really love this one. Wear it a lot in the autumn and winter. Can't wait till it gets into autumn to start wearing it a bit more. So it's, whis it's leather and whiskey, the main accords on it. I'd wear this now in the autumn with my leather jacket or in the winter. Really reminds me of going out, having a good time. Really sexy and unique. I've got a compliment with this. Someone came over to me in a nightclub or in a pub and asked me what I was wearing because they wanted to buy it for their boyfriend. So it's absolutely gorgeous. Much nicer than the original CH Men in my opinion. This is a 150ml bottle. I'm definitely going to go through this in the next two years and buy another one. Highly recommend you try this one out guys. CH Men Privé by Carolina Herrera. Number seven on the list, say what you like, but I love this and lots of other people love this too, and that's Aqua Di Gio Profumo by Giorgio Armani. So, as you've probably heard a million times before, this is the original aquatic Aqua Di Gio DNA with incense and patchouli to add some masculinity and performance into it. It's just such a great fragrance, it works for every season, every occasion. It's a, very, it's a very good dumb reach, great for an older man, great for a chap in his mid-twenties. Any age group can really wear this. It just works. This is just a fragrance that works. You will have smelled this off someone already, no doubt. But if you're looking for a fragrance that just works, I think you should definitely get your hands on this. Two sprays of this is all you need, it lasts all day. And it just smells really nice. 
So that's Acqua di Gio Profumo by Giorgio Armani. Number six on the list is Unforgivable by Sean John. I've mentioned this on my channel a good few times. It's my favorite cheapie at the moment. Just can't go wrong with it. Tangerine, Mandarin Orange and Rum are the main accords. Clone of Millicene Imperial. Smells identical. So pleasing. Everyone's going to love this. Doesn't perform too well, but neither does Millicene Imperial. This is just an absolute steal. It's, it's unique, gorgeous, lovely one for the summer. Doesn't really perform well enough for autumn, winter, but I'd wear it anyway, just for myself. If you don't need something, to, you don't always need something to perform. Just if you enjoy the scent yourself, you can wear it around the house or whatever. But absolutely gorgeous one for the summer. I really think you should get your hands on Unforgivable by Sean John at number six. Now we're into the top five, guys. So number five on my list is one I really enjoy, and it's Reflection Man by Amouage. So Jasmine, Neroli, and Sandalwood are the main cards in this one. Really stunning white floral fragrance for men. Not many of them out there. This one, the main notes in it are Jasmine and Neroli. Just works so well. So gentlemanly. The fragrance smells like the bottle looks, I think. Absolutely stunning bottle. The stunning scent, the best, one of the best performance scents I have in my collection. Is an expensive niche fragrance. It's not overly expensive though. Amouage aren't up in the expensive side of things com in comparison to a lot of other brands. But this one works for me absolutely stunning and I smell unique every time I wear this and makes me more confident for sure this one. So that's Reflection Man by Amouage and this is also the newer formulation. Apparently people said the magnetic caps doesn't perform well. I get at least 12 hours out of this one just works perfectly. The older formulation must have been an absolute beast of a thing because this works perfect for me. So that's Reflection Man by Amouage at number five. Number four on the list is Pacific Rock Moss by Goldfield and Banks. I gifted this recently for my birthday by my girlfriend. After sampling it, I fell in love with it and she listened to me and purchased it for me. So the main notes in this are lemon, sage and moss. So moss in the name, obviously. Just a really sexy summer fragrance. This really isn't one you'll be wearing any other time of the year, I don't think. The juice really tells you all you need to know about this one. It's a beautiful summer aquatic scent. I really enjoy wearing it. I've only had it a few weeks and I have a, a bit of a dint gone in it already. So it just I'm just wearing the heck out of it for the summer. I'm gonna have a review of this one up soon. But I really think you should get your nose on this. This is unique. I've seen previously people saying that it's not an amazing. I think it's amazing. Pacific Rock Moss by Goldfield and Banks is definitely one you should check out in my opinion. Demi Rowling was right to put the hype on this one. That's number four. So guys, number three on the list is actually discontinued, but there is another version of it on the market which I have smelled, and it does smell very similar, if not the exact same to be honest. But this is M7 by YSL. So this is out in another form of M7 Oud Absolute, which I'll just leave a picture of up in the corner there for you to see. But this is a gorgeous take on Oud. So I got this about four or five months ago, I'd say. I was lucky to pick it up. Someone had a few bottles and they just were selling it on for other people to experience because they had so many bottles of it. But the main cards in it are Oud and Amber. But for anyone who doesn't know, this was the first Oud fragrance on the market released by YSL in 2002 when Tom Ford was creative director. There's just a bit of information for you, but it's just, it just has Tom Ford all over, to be honest. Smells gorgeous. I love wearing this one now to work. If you're wearing a shirt and tie to work, this one is gorgeous. It's so masculine. It's an unusual take on Oud. I've never smelt Oud like this. This was the first Oud fragrance. I've smelt lots of other ones and they smell much different. Much kind of skanky. Not skanky, but what's the best, the better word? They smell dirtier. This one is definitely much cleaner. Really nice take on Oud. M7 Oud Absolute smells the exact same. I've sampled it a few times myself. So if this runs out, I'll be buying that one. I'll leave a link to all of them down in the description anyway, guys, if you want to pick them up. This one here is stunning. You really need to try it out if you haven't, because it is unique. That's M7, or M7 Oud Absolute by YSL. Okay, so number two on the list is another one that I'm really fond of, and it's Fico di Amalfi. So the main cards in this one are fig, grapefruit, and bergamot, among other notes. Other notes being citruses, etc. 
Very summery fragrance, very nice, definitely unisex. I wear this, me, myself and my girlfriend actually wear this together sometimes. We both just spray it on, we're off going out casually in the summer. There's good memories attached to this, but you really have to get your nose on this if you haven't. So all the citruses in here kind of combine with the fig to give it a peachy kind of a smell. I've said it before, it's the exact kind of smell I get off this is peach. Uh, it's a fig fragrance, but all the combination of all the notes really do give off that kind of a scent. This here gets a lot of hype in the fragrance community on YouTube and it really deserves it. So I love this one, that's Fico di Amalfi by Echo de Parma. Number one spot, Spice Bomb by Victor and Rolf. Might not have seen this on the channel only once before. This here, I have so many memories with this. Reminds me of college, going out on the beer device in college. Love it. Now, back then it was much nicer. At the moment it's still great, I'll always have it. So, cinnamon, tobacco and pink pepper are the main accords in it. Before there used to be much more cinnamon, so now it's just pink pepper and tobacco if you ask me. So it's like the top notes just stay, but absolutely gorgeous. Surely you've smelled this by now. If you're watching this video, you've surely smelled Spice Bomb by now. But if you haven't, for some reason you haven't, give it a try. It's well worth placing a collection because there's nothing that smells like this. I've never smelled anything like this. Lasts lovely, smells stunning in the winter time. In the really cold weather, this one just shines. It's just a really enjoyable one. Victor and Ralph really hit the nail on the head with Spice Bomb. Can't say enough things about it. So this is my number one on this list and at the moment and this will this will take some beating because I have lots of memories with this and I don't think it'll be away from this spot anytime soon so that's Spice Bomb by Victor and Rolf okay guys that's it for this list anyway if you haven't hit the subscribe button yet please do I really appreciate your subscription 70% over 70% of viewers are not subscribed to the channel so I'd appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button and give the video a thumbs up if you haven't really helps you don't even realize how much it helps so guys that's it for this one take it handy and god bless